Yeah, and we're watching police investigators leave the crime scene now. But let me just tell you, it gets even more bizarre, this story, when you consider that that powder was deemed non-toxic. And paramedics said they really saw no signs of physical trauma on the three. And yet a baby girl is dead, an eight-year-old fighting for her life. And it's still a mystery. Is the woman another suspect, a possible suspect, or another victim? Security video from a corner liquor store, time stamped 10.30 p.m., shows a woman cradling an infant, walking hand in hand with a little girl. Nothing seems out of the ordinary until it becomes clear the two are naked. Three hours later, they'd be found in the parking lot of this numero uno market. They were found to be, um, like I said, unconscious uh, and uh, covered in a white powder substance, and they were found lying uh, in a parking lot, this at 23rd San Pedro, around and near a parked vehicle. The baby, maybe two months old, later died. Paramedics could be seen giving CPR to the eight-year-old girl now in critical condition. The mother was wheeled into the ambulance, still unconscious. She's listed as stable. Detectives are with her trying to find out what killed the baby girl and sickened the eight-year-old. And could there be others involved? At this point, we're trying to identify the individuals, the kids, find out who the parent is and uh, talk to them. We don't know if it's one father or if it's possible a second father. The white powder brought on hazmat crews and then wound up at a house three blocks away. Police had responded to an assault call here around 9.45 Wednesday evening. It turned out to be the woman's home. She wasn't there then, but inside? It appears to be that they found some white powder substance there as well. Police described it as a mix of baby products, perhaps talc or formula. Meantime, back at that corner store, Sun Hin Chung says the woman is a regular. Yesterday she came in to buy cleaning products, but she didn't seem to be herself. She looked different. She always looked clean, and, but yesterday was she came here without shoes. She don't even comb her hair. I always wonder what happened, but I thought of the, the girl. Chung means the eight-year-old, the woman seen here dragging her, and the girl resisting. The woman had told Chung the daughter wouldn't stop crying. I asked her why she want to cry. She was crying like this all night long. She drive me crazy. That's what she, mom told me. And she wasn't the only one who witnessed odd behavior. This man, who asked to remain anonymous, says he'd seen his neighbor when he arrived home from work. She was um, trying to open, open some vehicles when the vehicles were locked. She was trying different car doors. She asked me if I was following her, but I wasn't following her. So again, there seem to be more questions than answers on this one. We are watching as police investigators appear to be wrapping up the investigation. They got the search warrant to search the premises not even two hours ago. So hopefully in the next couple of days, we'll figure out what happened here. Reporting live in South Los Angeles, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.